This is John Paul Rye. I'm coming to you from Tokyo, Japan, doing Depth vs. Heard, Celebrity News, stuff like that. Once in a while, I cover Meghan Markle and Harry, what's going on with them. So this article here caught my eye, and it makes me think about a few things. It's called, It's Almost Impossible for Harry to be Trusted, Royal Sources Say. And, you know, some people come around here and they say, you know, don't be so hard on Harry. And, you know, he didn't do anything. He's kind of stuck in the middle. He's almost like this victim role. And in a way, I understand he didn't grow up in the suburbs. He didn't go to a four-year college and do the normal things that normal kids do and teens do when he was growing up. However, he is a person, and the point this article brings up that made me think is that he's really turning his back on his family and fully taking the side of Meghan Markle. So, like, from the surface level, if you just think, oh, there are a couple out there in the world, leave them alone, I don't think you're thinking critically about the situation. She's really, apparently, got him somewhat under control. I mean, what would it take for you to divulge secrets about your family to millions of people that were negative? That's really not a good thing to do. He's just saying shit. He didn't actually abuse anyone or hurt anyone. So maybe for that reason, it doesn't seem as heavy as it is. But when you get around to thinking about it, it's pretty darn bad. Honestly, it's as bad as something physical to a certain extent. I mean, for me personally, if someone came up and just, you know, we get in a fight, they punch me in the face, but then we make up the next day and I got a, you know, little bruise or something, it heals, that's fine. But if somebody says some information out on the internet in front of millions of people that can never be taken back, well, I'd say that's worse than the physical altercation in some instances. Anyway, that's just my silly little opinion. Let's get into it. Anyone hoping for a Detente, whatever that means from saying it right, between Princes William and Harry were sorely disappointed this week after the unveiling of the Princess Diana statue at Kensington Palace as the two princes barely spoke to one another and spent almost 20 minutes in the same room after the ceremony. The once inseparable brothers who haven't seen each other since Prince Philip's funeral, where William asked not to walk beside Harry, are still Warring and sources close to the pair told the mirror it is almost impossible for Harry to be trusted. And I think that's a pretty fair statement. And I think that's one of the bottom lines here that I realized just today is that how could you trust what somebody says who doesn't at least keep confidences from their own family? I mean, think about your own personal case. I've had some bad apples in my family, but... Unless it's to help them and you're telling a psychiatrist or in extreme cases, maybe you talk things out with the police or something, you might say things to help straighten out a situation, but generally you don't just blabber out all this negative shit about your family. Even if they are negative, you tend to protect them. You hope that they'll get better and the negativity will work itself out and then there will be no reason to put that out in public. The relationship has been particularly frosty since allegations were made that Meghan bullied palace staff and the explosive Oprah Winfrey interview Harry and Meghan did this spring in which they claimed Marco felt suicidal and unprotected during her pregnancy. And they go on down here to say that William and Prince Charles were really irritated, devastated by Harry continuing to dish out private chats to CBS Gail King. That's nuts, man. Why? What's the point? Think about it. Is that something Harry would want more or Meghan Markle would want more? Can't say for sure, but Meghan Markle is the one who doesn't like the royals. She's the one who's the outsider. Doesn't mean everything. I'm an outsider where I live. And they go on to say, despite William and Harry coming together this week for the sole cause of commemorating their mother's legacy, Harry is very much on the outside, a source told the Mirror. And like I said... I would tend to believe that Harry is on the outside. I'm willing to have my opinion altered as things come out, but it just, like I said, my main point here is it really hit me heavy today that it's kind of a pretty low-down thing to 
divulge family secrets out in public. To put family secrets out in public. Like I've been through. Even if sometimes a family is bad, I think the tendency in general is to defend them and give them the benefit of the doubt until everything has already played out. That's just how I look at my family. And I've had some bad apples. I'm sure many other people have. You guys, of course, let me know what you think down below. Doing shout outs, special thanks, things like that. If you haven't subscribed, consider it. If you consider subscribing and you still don't subscribe, I guess I'll be sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.